it's time to change out my drive shafts to some good old American steel. Richard from the rcnetwork.com and today we're going to be installing some MIP drive shafts in my Traxxas TRX4. Now I've had my TRX4 for quite a while now, a little over a year, and I've actually had these drive shafts on hand for that entire time, but I haven't felt a need to actually upgrade them until now. Now starting off with the builder's kit, I installed the stock electronics from Traxxas, but as of late I upgraded to a Holmes hobby system, actually one of their brushed motors and a Hobbywing ESC. So definitely upped the power on this TRX4 and now it's time to upgrade the drive shafts. Now what's so cool about MIP products is there's no doubt that they're 100% made and designed in the US. Also they give everything inside of the package here to get you going. So not only do you get the grease, you get blue thread gel, you get instructions back there, you have everything you need to complete this install. The only tool you'll need is a 1.5 millimeter hex driver. First, let's go ahead and remove the stock Traxxas drive shafts. Now with the drive shafts removed, you can really see the abuse that they've already taken. Lots of marring and just cosmetic issues with these drive shafts, but now it's time to install some American steel. With the package open, you actually get quite a lot in that tiny little package. You get some accessory recommendations right there, all of the hardware for this kit, including some complimentary support parts, a couple of MIP decals, thread lock gel and MIP grease, all of the five millimeter hubs, the female and male bones, and some instructions just so you know exactly how to install them. Taking a look at the drive shafts up close, you do get the badging on their MIP HD drive line. They are quite a bit smaller, but they do have a similar pattern for the male section of this thing. However, I did notice a flat section right here, so you can have your drive shafts in phase. That means that basically these two points right here are in phase with each other. Now taking a look at the two different drive shafts in comparison, of course the Traxxas one is on the bottom here. The traditional drive shafts are on the top, quite a bit larger on the traditional ones, but there's not going to be much durability differences between the two. What you do gain on these versions right here, the HD versions, is a lot more scale look on your vehicle. Now another difference I see on the hubs right here, the old version is here on the right, the new Traxxas version on the left. There's two different adjustments on the actual pin that goes into the pinion gear so you're able to actually adjust these now for different vehicles as you see this one has a collar right here this one actually can be used for different vehicles without having to shave down that collar so now another nice touch here from MIP now assembling the drive shafts is pretty easy. Now you do have your couplers right there. One thing to note about those, those do have threads only on one side on the inside there for the set screw. The cross pins do have a flat spot, so also note that. And then finally the set screws, those will go in just to hold everything in place with a little bit of thread gel. Now the first thing I like to do is take the actual hubs, take a little bit of grease just on my finger right there and just put it right inside of that hole. I do that for either side just so there's an even disbursement of grease for the coupler. After that just make note of which side has the actual threads and slide the coupler right on through. Keeping the pinhole right there on the top. Now the hardest part about the assembly is where the threads are. Let's say this side has the threads on it. You do want to have the flat side facing up on those threads. So as you start to assemble this thing, just make note of that. Once you have this all assembled, you can actually see the flat part of the cross pin that goes through. Now it's time to set the set screw. 1.5 millimeter hex driver, add a little bit of thread gel right here and then go ahead and set the set screw. One thing to note on this, you don't want this too tight. You just want to just briefly snug down and let the thread lock do its work. You just have to repeat this on the other three sides and you're ready to install them onto the TRX-4. 
Now that the drive shafts are all completely assembled, we are four set pins away from having this thing running. Also, one thing to note, I do like to put just a little bit of the MIP grease on the mail section right there. And then once it's assembled in, it'll just have a nice running feature and it'll keep everything nice and quiet. Now, as I noted before, there are two different holes on the actual hub right here. It does recommend that you use the one that's closest to the center of the drive shaft or furthest from the actual transmission or differential. So right there is the closer one. We're not going to use that. We're going to use the furthest one away. Now with the set pins, I do want to put a little bit of Loctite on there from MIP. And I'm talking about just a little bit, just enough to coat it slightly. And that's all we'll need. And there we have it fully installed on the front right there with the shorter version. Now I'm gonna install the longer version in the rear and we'll be set to go. All right, we are fully installed now. Let's go and get this thing out on the rocks. Mm -hmm. 